adding two functions together creates another function. At ganun din ang mangyayari when we subtract them. Let me show you how to subtract functions. By definition, subtraction of functions is given by f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Suppose we have f of x equals 4x squared plus 8x and g of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Let us find f minus g of x and later let us also find f minus g of negative 3. So basically, para makuha natin si f minus g of x, babalikan natin yung definition that f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Or basically, isusubtract lang natin itong dalawang functions na meron tayo. Yung f of x natin na 4x squared plus 8x, ipapalit natin dito. Yung g of x natin na 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, ipapalit naman natin dito. And so we have f minus g of x is equal to 4x squared plus 8x. Take note na gumamit pa rin ako ng parenthesis. Minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Take note, no? gumamit pa rin ako ng parenthesis. And this shows na itong 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a whole function. Ibig sabihin, isang buo siya. At ito mismo yung buong function na isusubtract natin kay 4x squared plus 8x. Dito napakalaga na maipakita yung paggamit ng parenthesis. Kasi dahil dito sa operation natin na subtraction, lahat ng nandito sa loob ng parenthesis na to ay magbabago ng sign. Okay? And this gives us f minus g of x equals 4x squared plus 8x. Again, lahat ng nasa loob ng parenthesis na to ay magbabago ng sign because of this operation subtraction. So, si 3x squared becomes negative 3x squared. Si negative 2x will become positive 2x at si positive 1 will become negative 1. And then, right after this, isisimplify na natin itong ating equation. So, notice that 4x squared and negative 3x squared are both second degree terms, so we can combine them. So 4x squared plus negative 3x squared will give us positive x squared. Positive 8x and positive 2x are both first degree term, so we can combine them together. So 8x plus 2x is equal to 10x. At kung makikita natin dito, no, wala na tayong ibang constant term maliban kay negative 1. So, kukopay na lang natin siya. And therefore, f minus g of x is equal to x squared plus 10x minus 1. And now, let us find f minus g of negative 3. Or simply, no, evaluate lang natin itong ating resulting function na f minus g of x when x is equal to negative 3. So, palitan lang natin si x ng negative 3. So, f minus g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared plus 10 times negative 3 minus 1. Simplify natin. So, f minus g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. And that gives us positive 9. Positive 10 times negative 3 is equal to negative 30. And meron pa tayong negative 1 dito. Okay? So, further simplify natin. So, f minus g of negative 3 is equal to... So, 9 minus 30 is negative 21. Minus 1 is negative 22. And therefore, f minus g of negative 3 is equal to negative 22. And this is how we subtract two functions together. And this is how we evaluate this resulting function for some given value of x. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.